No.
to join us today and we are so very grateful that God has blessed us to see this very new year of 2021 as we all know last year of 2020 was a very challenging and difficult one for us all but because of God's grace he has kept us and allowed us to be here today and so therefore we ask that you would just simply help us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ by simply liking our page, sharing our videos, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Also, if you would like to be a blessing to this ministry, you may do so by one of the ways that are displayed across the screen. You may do that now, or you can just simply wait until after you have enjoyed the service to be a blessing. However you choose, we are just thankful that you have joined us and we pray that God continue to be a blessing upon each and every one of you. Thank you so much.
I was singing that he will bring you out. And it is so true. It is so real. All you have to do is just turn to him. All you have to do is just repent. And certainly he will bring you out. We thank God for you today. I'm going to go quickly to the word of God. If you would just follow along with us. The book of Psalms. The book of Psalms. Psalm 78. We're looking at verses 1 through 7. The word of the Lord says, Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known. And our fathers have told us we will not hide them from their children, showing to the generations to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. For he has established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children, that the generations that come might know them, even the children which should be born, who would rise up and declare them to their children, that they may set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. Praise the Lord. I have spoken on this before, not such a long time, but it comes back today. It comes back today because of all of the troubles in this world, the many, many problems that people are confronted with daily. And we look at this generation and that the generations to come need to know the law of God. Needs to know God's word. What the Lord has said in his word. That the generations to come might know them. And, and certainly the devil, Satan, is doing everything that he can to block this generation, the generations before it, and everybody that he possibly can block. He's on the job trying to do this. But one thing you must realize that God placed us here on earth and he placed us here to serve him, to worship him, and to glorify his name. He did not place us here that we could just act any way that we want to act. And some people are acting like animals. Some people are so low in their behavior until, praise the Lord, we truly need help from God. This is a serious day. And it is a day of trouble. And knowing that the word of God is being fulfilled daily, it's being fulfilled, and that Jesus is soon to come. Now, he's real. He's not a fictitious character. But he actually is the son of a living God. And he walked this earth more than 
2,000 years ago, walked among men and women and gave them an example. And that example will come on down to us today as to how we should live. How we should glorify the name of God and praise Him for all of His goodness. When we look at, praise the Lord, even past generations, we look at what they had. And uh, you see, the things of God are to be passed down from generation to generation. We are to teach our children the ways of the Lord. Amen. We are to instruct them, give them good instruction. Yes. Praise the Lord. We are to come to the house of God. Be attentive in the churches yes. and hear what God has to say. Praise the Lord. Now, Satan is working and he's working day and night. Praise the Lord. He has his own agenda. Satan has his own agenda. And he has always had an agenda. But in his agenda, there are many sub-agendas. Agenda. Praise the Lord to his agenda. Now, uh, his overall agenda is to defeat God. His overall plan is to defeat God. When Satan, when, when he was thrown out, and when the pride got in his heart so until he thought that he ought to be God, but God had to just put him out of the heaven. But yet and still, this devil, Satan, he is cunning. He is cunning. Which means that he is crafty in the use of special resources, skill, and knowledge. Satan is characterized by his ability to deceive and to use trickery. Praise God to lure individual out of the path of righteousness and to the path of darkness. He's wise. That means he, he's knowing. He possesses inside information, skill. He is skilled in magic and divination. Demonic spirits are at his command. Then Satan, he is, he is intelligent. He's clever. He's alert. He's quick and he's witty. Meaning that uh, he is mentally king and he's quick. Not only that, praise the Lord, he has these characteristics. We know that he has some power, but God is almighty. Amen. Praise the Lord. But one thing about the devil, yeah. he is a fool. Yes. Thinking that he can dethrone God. Oh, God. Praise the Lord. He is a big fool. Oh, Praise the Lord. And he has in his mind that maybe one day that I'm going to dethrone God. Yeah. Because he said in one place, I'm going to exalt my throne above the throne of God in the north side. Hallelujah. But the Bible said he is a liar and he's the father of a lie. But yet he has an agenda. He has one for Israel. He has one for the church. And he has an agenda for the world. But the main agenda for Israel is that they will continue. He wants them to continue rejecting Jesus Christ 
as the Son of God and as the true Messiah. Now for the world and for the church, there are so many entities in his agenda. He has organized so many organizations that are in opposition to the word of God. All across this country and the countries of this world, Satan has organized groups and individuals to oppose the word of God. He's organized the politicians. He's organized judges, judges of the court. He had praise of all and the dealt with presidents. And then he deals with the common man. There are so many organizations that Satan has set up. He's in, in a word, there are people who influences millions of people. They influence millions of people. But the devil has come there and he has infiltrated their hearts until some are speaking saying that there's more than one way. They say that there are many ways. But Jesus said, I am the way. I am the way. The truth and the life. Praise the Lord. And if you expect to get to the Father, Jesus said, you got to come by me. Because I'm the way. And there are not many ways. There's only one way. And that's through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. There's not a way through my habit. There's not a way through Buddha. Praise the Lord. No, Zoroaster is not the way. But only one way. And Jesus said, I am that way. But he is the son of the living God. Hallelujah. And I know that the devil is trying to discredit that. And even in the, the generation in this day, we need to be before God. The Bible said that that was a generation that seemed not to know the laws of God. They rejected them. But the writer says they need to have their hope in God. They need to set their hope on God. And I would say this generation today it seems that there is no hope in God. Praise the Lord. That I'm going to go my own way. I'm going to do my own thing. But we really need a hope in God. We really need our faith to be in God. But I'm going to tell you, Jesus is coming. I said, Jesus is coming. It's time to serve the Lord now. Praise the Lord, because these few fleeting years will soon be over. Everybody now said, look like time is passing so fast. Pray, although it's the same time, but it seems because there are so many things in the world, so many new inventions, so many places to go and things to do, when it seems like the time is passing so fast. Hallelujah, but it's that same time, but it's just our state of mind. Can you tell God, thank you. You see, Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the teaching elders, those that outlived Joshua, Israel continued to serve the Lord. They, they, these men, the, the, the teachers, they had seen all of the great works of the Lord. They had seen that what God had done for Israel. Praise the Lord. But in Judges 10, 2 and 10, it states that, and there arose another generation after them, which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. The generation after the elders that outlived Joshua, 
They committed apostasy. They became, praise the Lord, they committed it because they knew not the works of the Lord. It had not been, praise the Lord, really passed on down to them. And I tell you, the church has a job today of passing the word of God on down to this present generation. Praise the Lord, our schools are being torn apart. Praise the Lord, and destruction seems to be occurring everywhere. But I want to let you know the word of God is being fulfilled and time is passing by us. Praise the Lord. They did evil in the sight of the Lord. And they served Balaam. Praise the Lord. They forsook the Lord their God, the God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt. And they followed other gods, the gods of the people that were around about them. And they provoked the Lord to anger. It's a terrible thing to fall in the hand of an angry God. Judges 2 and 13, it said that they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtoreth. And the 14th verse said, And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of the spoilers that spoiled them and sold them into the hands of the enemy. God, praise the Lord, this hot means that God blazed up with anger. And he is spoken of as waxing hot in anger. And when his anger gets to the boiling or the steam point, definite action in the judgment is manifested. Yep, definite action will take place. Can you tell God, thank you. I tell you, the church has a lot of work to do. Praise the Lord. We need to witness. Hallelujah. We need to be examples. Let our light so shine. But you see, this generation is been seduced by so many things. They're seduced by drugs and alcohol. This generation and even other generations, they're influenced by the stars, the rich and the famous. Praise the Lord. Uh, not only that, but uh, they are influenced by the music industry. Hallelujah. And some of this music, hallelujah, is not fit to listen to. We find all kinds of stuff in language. Praise the Lord in the music of today. But I want to tell you, praise the Lord, you had better beware. Because your soul is most precious. Your soul is the most precious possession that you own. Hallelujah. Not only are they influenced by the music industry, but they are seduced by sex. Praise the Lord. The world is saying whatever you want to do, do it. But God is saying, praise the Lord, damnation awaits you. Praise the Lord and said, Hell has opened her mouth wide. And that she's ready, is ready to receive me and like flocks of sheep. And I want to tell you, it's time to give your life to God. It's time to realize that I don't have much longer to be here. Even if you're here a hundred years, it's not a drop in the bucket. For one writer, songwriter said, and when we be there, when we've been there, 10,000 years, we've just only begun. Can you tell him thank you? I'm talking about those that make it into God's kingdom. 10,000 years won't be a drop in the bucket either. It will just be an eternal state. I cannot imagine eternity, but it's going to be like the word of God said. And you keep on looking today. Young people, middle-aged, many people, 
are influenced by homosexuality and lesbians. Hallelujah, they're influenced by same-sex marriages. The Bible said, let a man leave father and mother and let him cleave to his own wife. It's not right, praise the Lord. It is unnatural for two men to be together as married and the same for two women to be together. The Bible said it's abomination before God. Can you say yes? And you have states and judges when they're passing the law to permit same-sex marriages. But God made the woman for the man and the man for the woman. Can you tell God, thank you. Not only that praise of order, but that the devil, he has this new world order. He's building it up to we need a new world order. Because this Jesus in the Bible is not the real Jesus. But there's another Jesus coming. And he'll be in the new world order. Can you tell God, thank you. Hallelujah. And many in this generation, they are influenced, I said, about same-sex marriage. Another part of the devil's agenda. He has a political agenda. Homosexual movement. Ability, praise of Lord, to teach homosexuality in the public schools. I want to let you know that it's in many states now. And it's on its way, if it haven't happened yet, to, to the state of Mississippi. <laughs> and these homosexuals and lesbians, <laughs> they have the ability, <laughs> and they're trying to get license from the state, other states to marry, to adopt children, to be the council of youth groups. And I want to tell you, that's a dangerous thing. I said that's a dangerous thing. This world is corrupted. I said this world is corrupted. But one day, the great I am shall hold the clouds of glory. Every eye shall see him. And every knee shall bow. Can you say yes? And among the demands that were put forth by an organized, the organizer of the march of Washington for lesbian, for gays, and for bisexuals, the rights and the women's race and praise the Lord, there's a homosexual civil rights law that included provision. Hallelujah for free curriculum in schools. Can you say yes? Not only that, but the gays and the lesbians and the straight teacher network called the GLSTN headquarters in New York City. They're working and they're being quite successful to influence policies in public and private education circles. Praise the Lord, and they have 40 chapters nationwide. They have a membership already of 4,000 people that's comprised of teachers and students and parents. They sponsor several programs. They aim at teaching the youth with a program message at the beginning of each school year. They sponsor a back to school campaign which encourages lesbian and gays and bisexual adults and their allies to mount a major educational campaign to writing letters back to the schools that they left back to the place of all those leaders that in charge of the schools to change their hearts and minds uh, and say that this is just only a new lifestyle. Uh, I say it's just a new lifestyle, uh, but it's a lifestyle that God rejected. Uh, it's a lifestyle that God condemned. Uh, and you say this, uh, and the Bible let me know that one day, I said one day, that God is going to rise up. And Job said, when God rises up, 
said, let me in. What shall I answer him? You see, God will meet us, not as a man, but meet us as God, a God of the universe, the God of all creation, the God that made you. Can you say yes? Hallelujah. But the same-sex marriage, it will be taught in public schools in California. And if the sponsors have their way, parents and children, they will be denied protection. They have a current California law that requires the schools to let the parents know that what they're teaching in sex education, hallelujah, and at that time, parents could remove their children from the classroom. But I want to tell you, they're working on the law that has already passed in Massachusetts. The same-sex marriage, hallelujah, was also imposed. It was imposed by a four to three vote that the majority of the state Supreme Court imposed this law that Massachusetts parents, hallelujah, who were recently sued when they were told their children as young as the kindergarten would be taught about same-sex marriage and that the parents would not be given an opportunity to take them out. They wouldn't be given an opportunity to take their children out anymore. The devil is at work. I said the devil is at work and they'll do, he's doing all he can to destroy the family. All that he can to destroy life as we know it. This stuff uh, and the word of God uh, in Deuteronomy uh, 23rd chapter uh, verse 17 and 18 uh, so there shall be uh, no wars among the daughters of Israel uh, no sodomites uh, of the sons of Israel uh, you see a sodomite uh, is a person that's guilty uh, of a natural sexual relationship uh, as sex between the same sex uh, or even sex with an animal uh, hallelujah and I tell you praise the Lord uh, it's going on uh, it's happening uh, but God said it's filthy uh, he's against it uh, it's abomination before God uh, and the Lord said that uh, thou shalt not bring a higher uh, or a whore of a dog into the house of the Lord to make any vows for even both of these are abomination before the Lord. You see at that time when he said the price of a dog homosexual will call dogs. Hallelujah. And God said don't even bring that kind of money into the house of the Lord. He's against for the word of God said in the first chapter of Romans, the cause of homosexuals and lesbianism, God gave them up to vile affection. So even their women to change the natural use, which is against nature, and likewise the men leaving the natural use of the woman and being burned in their lust toward one another. You had men with men and women with women working that which is unseemly and they received to themselves that recompense of their error, praise the Lord. But it's time, it's time to reject all of this stuff. It's here today. It's everywhere. And God is angry with the wicked in the day. Tired of the wicked ways. Tired is running out. It's going to happen. I said, it's going to happen. And in our schools, it has been reported that the young lady.
ladies uh, are worse than the young men. Hallelujah. So you find them in the hallways, locked up in the hallways, kissing each other in the hallways. Hallelujah. And I've been informed that many fights uh, that are between girls uh, because girls are fighting over girls. Can you say yes? And many times uh, our young ladies uh, they have problems at home today. Many times uh, they're without father. They're lonely. Nobody to care for them. Hallelujah, mothers uh, care more for their boyfriends than they do their children. They're left at home. We have to the high school girls and young women. They're playing on young girls and the lifestyle is changed. The young girl lifestyle is changed. Many times it's in the world. You might as well face it. These young people know about it and they know some time more than we know about it. I heard the Lord tell Timothy to Pastor Paul said you preach the word. You preach the word. Be instant. In season and out of season. Reprove that rebuke. We're all on suffering. For the time has come. But they will not endure sound doctrine. But they'll heap to them ears and sailors. Today, having it in the ears, they want to hear what they want to hear. They want you to preach what they want to hear. But I want to tell you, God is angry. God is tired. He said, cry loud and spare not. Lift up your voice and the trumpet in Zion. Show my people their transgression. The house of Jacob. Show their sins. Can you say yes? It's time. I say it's time to get in the hurry. The music message. I said the music messages is destroying a generation. Hallelujah. And the musical reach is impressive. Hallelujah. But the musical power to shape the way of a generation, the way a generation think, the way they think about sex, the way they think about personal relationship, will reflect more and more than just the reach. But it's affecting individual. It's affecting them greatly. And one thing about it, God's going to rise up one day. Hallelujah. You may be having fun now. You may be having a good time now. But one day, God will rise up. One day, it'll all be over. One day, we'll have to leave this world. Let's move on. For the Bible said, it's important unto me it wants to die. And after death, the judgment is coming. And you say it's for the Bible said that this is the will of God. Even though sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication. And every one of you should know how to possess his body in sanctification and honor. And you say yes. You see, people love. They love what the, to see the stars and what the stars are doing, what the famous and the rich are doing. And most of it was just ungodly mess. I've seen what the stars are doing, what the rich and famous are doing. And some of them are just as poor as the proverb of Job's turkey. Can you say yes? But let us steal. They want to see it. They want to see all of that. But God, uh, he's tired of this stuff. He said, I made you. I made you to live for me. I made you to walk up right for me. But Satan, he's got his agenda. Hallelujah. I said, he's got his agenda. He's fighting. He's fighting for your life. He's fighting for your soul. 
Christ, your Lord and Savior, I invite you and I encourage you to do so at this time. Just pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, and I believe that you rose again. And Jesus, I pray that you will forgive me for my sins, and that you will cleanse me from all unrighteousness. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer with me, you are now my brother or my sister in Christ. And we are so happy and excited that you made Jesus Christ your choice. Let us hear from you. If you made the awesome decision to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, we would love to hear from you. Use the information on your screen to contact us and we will be praying for you. If you do not have a church home, we would love to have you into our fellowship at Jerusalem Temple. Just email us your name and your number, and a member of our ministerial staff will contact you with further information on how you can do so. If you would like to be a financial blessing to this ministry, keep watching for further information. <laughs> 